What's up guys, gaming news here. Are you guys subscribed to Bell? Do you live in Canada? Are you subscribed to Rogers, Bell, Telus, Virgin Mobile, Tech Savvy, all these different internet companies? Well, let me go over something with you right now. To get this speed, and you probably won't believe me, it took us three months. We asked Bell if we can get 5100 in our area. They said, nope, we can't. We checked the website, it said we could. And somehow after I talked with an agent, it said only 550 is available. So I assumed he just took it off of there so that he didn't appear as lying to us. But um, basically, we, we uh, fought with them for a bit. Said we're just gonna cancel our order then since we can't get 5100 even though we had 5100 last year when we were with them, but we canceled because Rogers gave us a very good deal of um, Rogers gigabit for $64 a month. But um, so the technician got here and we told him, hey, we actually we want to upgrade to 5100. We said this just to see if it actually is available, and he said, okay, no problem. Well, there was a problem, and it wasn't the speed, <laughs> it was the fact that Rogers, they freaking um, cut Bell's line. So let me show you this here. Let's check this out, guys. Also, this isn't my only YouTube channel. If you guys want to follow my other channel pertaining to the scriptures, it is Yahuwah is Salvation. But anyways, um, here is my modem, and... The line goes from like, uh, where where is it, uh, right here to the modem, and right here, this is where Rogers cut our line, a technician, they cut this line here, and in this tubing, this is meant to have, um, whatchamacallit, a Rogers cable, but they moved it to this one, because we had so many issues with Rogers, that the price wasn't even worth it because it wouldn't even work half the times. So the guy had to freshly install this, which I guess it's nice to have a fresh new line. But um, as you can see, we're on a pair bonding here, 50-50 each. There's the cut Rogers cable. I guess the tech wanted to get back at them. Um, I won't say his name, but let's just say he said that he's going to make the service worse for Rogers in the area because of what they uh, did here. I believe him too because I looked at the... Um, I live in a townhouse, so we have a main box where everyone's internet connection is uh, connected to. I can show you that after, guys. Well, possibly. I don't, I don't really want to film on someone else's yard. So, well, technically it's municipal property, but you guys get my drift. So, um... He had to reinstall the line, basically. And uh, he said 100 is available here. So we were like, okay, why were they saying only 550 is available, but then offered us 5100 with TV? He said it was just a misleading sales tactic, and that's why you should, you should never trust the first thing Bell offers you guys. If you guys are in a neighborhood where it says... Where they tell you 550 is only available or 525, wait for the tech to get here. Don't mention to them that they said only this is available. Tell them you want to upgrade to this certain speed. And I promise you, more than likely, it'll be there. Because they said we only have 550. He said we can actually get up to 187 megabytes per second to this line. And that's what this line is getting. But he said if he sets us to that speed, the 100 won't always be guaranteed. It'll fluctuate. So let's say he sets us to 180 megabytes per second. Sometimes it'll go down to 150. It could go as low as 100. And he said this is what makes Bell different than Rogers. So they'll set me at 102, which is the exact speed I'm paying for. But they have all that speed in the background to help it out. So that if anything goes, um, 
if any if the speed slows down it won't slow down past 100 and that's the secret to how bell guarantees their speed whereas rogers will just overload your house give you a thousand and thirteen hundred megabytes per second set that to every single house in the block and then people will complain a few minutes later saying hey we're getting 800 megabytes per second at this time and now we're getting like 200 or something you know you know what i mean it's because cable shared this isn't shared until we get to the node but at the node it's shared with a fiber line which basically it, it, it's not shared if it's with fiber well it is shared but a fiber cable can handle up to a hundred thousand gigabytes per second so it's it, it's a lot different than cable so if you guys have Bell Fibre in your area, do I recommend it? To be honest with you, I only recommend it if you fight with loyalty once you made an order to get a cheaper price. And once you have the technician here and verify higher speeds are available, I would go with Bell. And to be honest, if you're a gamer, yeah, go with Bell. If you're a gamer, go with Bell. Um, Rogers will download stuff faster, but Bell has fiber to the home as well. So you can get a thousand, fifteen hundred thousand megabytes per second with Bell. So uh, speed's not an issue. And even a hundred megabytes per second where I live, it's okay. And, um, when we had the issue where we had 5100 installed, but we swapped modems, and then they said the same thing again, that only 550 is available. So we did have to struggle with 550 for a bit, and even 550 is not too, too slow. But to be honest with you, 550, if you're a family of like four or five, honestly, unless you're a gamer, yeah, I would, I would, I would first check with a technician to make sure 5100 is not available, like what happened in my case. Because after much convincing, we finally got it back up to 100 again. And one technician actually set it higher than 100. He says to 127. So we we're downloading games very fast. And I don't know if it's just my Xbox glitching. I'll show you this in a second. When I'm downloading certain games, it goes up to 200 megabytes per second. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. I honestly think the, the internet meter is just lying on the Xbox. But we'll see. I'll show you guys an actual real-life download test on this um, Cat7 cable. You can see right here cat 7 flat cable but um yep guys if you have bell in your area i recommend it if you have rogers in your area i was with rogers for a year it crashed it slowed down the ping was okay i'll give it that it was okay it wasn't to the point where you can't play a game like i never experienced lag spikes like some people have said they had with them but We've had, this is, was our third new line that they installed and, went, and is now cut. So yeah, that should say enough about Rogers. With Bell, it's been perfectly up for the past few days. Bell's customer service is trash, though. So to be honest with you, I wouldn't go with Bell. I would actually go with Virgin. Um, I would have said this earlier, but I honestly forgot. But I would go with Virgin Mobile. If you have that in your area, it's in Ontario and Quebec. I would go with them instead of Bell. They're the same exact, they use the same exact line as Bell. They use everything the same as Bell. It's just, um, cheaper, literally. That's it. Like, um, I can show you guys here. I'll have to do this with one hand. So first off, I want to show you this actually, guys. So this is my speed test result. So that's 5100. It says the speed you purchased, 100 megabytes per second. Up to is the keyword. The speed to the modem is at 102. Latency at 6. Millisecond to the Xbox is 8. Download speed to the Xbox 92. What the frig is going on here, eh, guys? This is why they say up to. They say up to because only the speed to the modem is guaranteed. To your devices, they'll never guarantee it. And that's the problem with Bell. I'll, I'll say that. That is one problem with Bell. With Rogers, if you pay for 150 megabytes per second or Rogers Ignite 100, you're getting over 100 to your devices easily. Easily, easily. If you pay for 5100, the maximum I've gotten, and I'll, I'll do a literal speed test in front of you guys, maximum I've gotten is right here, 94. So if, if you guys... Um, 
are really like picky like I'm most of the time when it comes to internet download speed then I don't know it really depends if you guys care about that ping right and ping fluctuates this speed test has lied to me before because sometimes it says higher ones sometimes it says lower ones so but right here as you can see this is the speed you can expect of 5100 with an ethernet cord to the modem so if this won't satisfy you guys then I guess I wouldn't go with Bell, guys, to be honest. But yeah, that's just my experience with Bell. And um, so actually downloading a game is a different story. So if I go over here, let me zoom out here. I had an update for Ark, but I'm not going to do that because Xbox throttles updates, and I'll make a video on that soon. I'm not a fanboy, man. I'll promise you guys that. If I don't like something about Xbox, I'm going to admit it. If I don't like something about PlayStation, I'm going to say that too. Install. Alright, check you guys. Look at this. So, installing Destiny 2. I'm actually I'm going to delete this right after the video. By the way, guys, Destiny 2 is trash. But yeah, this is the speed you can expect if you have an Xbox One X. I can't speak for PlayStation. I have one over there, but it's broken right now. But um, this is the speed you get with 5100. You, you will literally rarely ever, ever, ever even get close to 100 downloading a game. And it's very disappointing. So I'll get 75 to, to the maximum was like 94. Even though it says it goes to 200, sometimes it's lying. And this is the amount of time you'd have to wait if you were uh, on 5100 to download 100 gigs, which is a lot. I'll give it that. That's a lot of freaking gigs. But if you want, if you're downloading big files like this, and uh, you don't want to wait three hours, then that's where Rogers would come in handy. But honestly, I've noticed that this, uh, the completes in three hours thing, it lies because I've had this like large files download before way quicker than it says that it will. So I don't know. I I feel like that's lying. But um, yeah, that's my bell review. I doubt anybody's been watching this from 12 minutes, and if you have, you guys must be bored, eh? But yeah, look at that, guys. See that? Unless you guys just really like tech stuff. If you do, this is a channel for you. And um, yeah, so look at that, guys. That's like the max speeds you'll get on Bell 5100, actual time downloading. So um, yeah. Hate to say it, Bell, but this is where Rogers wins, man. <laughs> they guarantee their damn speeds, that's for sure. <laughs> like for three hours a day. <laughs> but yeah, guys, look at that. I'm about to make a video right after this, too. Stay tuned.